Well, it's like Uber for your pet. Pets and Vet Connections wants to help busy people with all their pets' needs. Armani Salazar spoke with the co-owners of this company, and they tell her why there's a need for mobile in-home pet care. This is Keelan, and she's three. Dr. Beth Nichols works long days. My hours range from 6.30 in the morning till 6 or 7 o'clock at night, and there's many times when I can't stop. Maintaining three big dogs is a challenge sometimes. And they're my children. But pet to vet connections make sure Wyatt, Nate, and Keelan are taken care of. Good boy, so there's so your cookie. Sarah and Lori are, are, know how to handle all kinds of animals, and they're they're kind and they're patient and trustworthy and it's very comforting to know that they will take care of my animals like I want them taken care of. The co-owners Sarah and Lori are veterinarian technicians with more than 40 years of experience combined. They say they noticed there wasn't anything like this around town. We have a large, I guess, population of elderly for one and they can't always get their pet where they need to go. There's also um, a lot of working people that don't have time, you know, and they need somebody just to take their pet to the vet and either sit with them or drop them off. They'll also take your pet to the groomer, airport, even doing at-home procedures like nail trims and ear cleanings. We try to behaviorally read them um, to what best fits that patient. We take them out and we just sit down and we talk to them and we pet them and we give them treats and we take high value treats. Sarah and Lori say they started the company to bridge the gap from your home pet care to your vet and Dr. Nichols says they've been a huge help. It is something that is, is necessary for the professional world as well as, as Sarah noted, the retirement people sometimes need help either, you know, because they can't drive or if they need help picking up their pet or whatever. So it's, it's very convenient. Marty Salazar, KLBK News. Thanks, Marty.